I'm being treated like shit. Which I put myself in that position to be treated like shit by judgmental people. And then um, I had one nurse. What is her name? It's probably better. I don't remember her name. But she was a sweetheart. I was so upset when I knew that I was leaving and that I wouldn't see her. Because she was off for like three days. I was like, I'm not staying here for three more fucking days. <laughs> so saying goodbye to her was tough because I knew I was going to continue to have shitty treatment. That's what caused me really to leave. Um, was the way. Like, I just kept asking, when can I leave? Because I don't like the way I'm being treated. Oh, what's wrong with being treated? Well, let's see. When you uh, put my food in the room and then as the door closing, Billy, your food's there. And then I wake up as the door shuts. Like, who the fuck does that shit? Like, I was awake the whole time. Like, I opened my eyes. Fucks. I just didn't know who was in there. Ugh. But we were talking and uh, talking about music and stuff, and I, I'm very open about my addiction. And she started asking, Have you gone to, thought about treatment? Have you gone to any programs? And what are you doing to, that's what her original question, what, what are you doing to try to get off drugs? And I said, well, I cope with like music and Lil Peep is somebody I listen to, even though he's, you know, talks about using drugs. The fact that he died is kind of like a, a siren for me to wake up. And then she opened up to me um, that her husband's in recovery. And I was like, oh, husband. Like, I hate when I have these crushes on girls and I hear that they're in a relationship because that kills it for me. Like, I'll respect it and not be like someone who pursues it or even disrespects it in any aspect. I'll just stop. I'll just stop like... Whatever. I'm a daydreamer. I always have been. A dreamer, I guess. And that comes in relationships. Pre-relationship things. Once I'm hooked up, and the rest of the world becomes blurry. Um, so I'm like, oh, okay. She goes, yeah, he, he listens to, like, Mac Miller. And that's his go-to, and that helps him. And I knew that Mac Miller had passed away. And I knew that it was, like, drug related but I didn't know anything about Mac Miller I was like oh and she's like you should really listen to him and I said okay I will because I wanted to get the fuck out of drugs like once I had lost um, Angelique and um, the money was starting to dissipate and I knew that my living situation was going to be bleak considering that the place I lived didn't want me there and I didn't want to be there um That's when I started the process, too, of giving them Medicaid to cover the hospital stay, to cover the future detox and treatment, because I thought that I was going to be able to go through a detox program like I did at Highland Ridge when I had insurance, and then I thought I was going to be able to do like a 30 to 90 day stay at a home um, through Medicaid for my addiction and mental illness, and uh, boy was I wrong. And... Um, system so fucked and and I'm on it and fuck you I need to put that on my resentment list because that whole fucking fuck show is a fuck it's a mess um and that goes for just for people in general who need it not just because I'm a drug addict like so what I'm a drug addict what about the people who aren't who need assistance like I just want to hear fucking Mel's voice scream below me. So, we uh, we part ways. You know, she goes home and I leave the hospital. I leave the hospital pissed off. And th this has happened to me once before. Once when I was uh, an alcoholic and uh, a pill popper. I went to a doctor, an endocrinologist, real fucking cocksucker, and said I didn't deserve an insulin pump. And I stopped checking my insulin after that and went into a fucking self-destruct height, like a heightened alert. Just fuck you, I'm gonna destroy my body then. And that's what I did this time. I was driving around with my five oxygen tanks in the back seat, um, smoking, 
smoking and drugs to icy roads. It was um, still snowy. And doing like uh, 100, 110 on I-15. See you inside, nerd. Make sure your car's locked. That's what I love about people when like, I'm out here. Where you see it, like <laughs> the triple lock. But they lock it as they shut the door and they beep and then they're like halfway. And I see them turn around and like beep like, I, I guess I know people who would go through people's cars, but I'm not one of them. Mm. Driving around, not giving a fuck. Self-destruct mode. And about a week later, I started listening to Mac Miller. I remember when I hit play on the spins, I was like, what the fuck is this? I almost like it reminded me of Mike Shinoda releasing I think it was called Zugarats and I didn't know that he released it and it was already out a month and I was at Costco and I was like oh listen to Mike Shinoda from Lincoln Park and I scroll I'm just like scrolling on my phone and I'm like whoa fuck it and I hit play and it, my reaction was just like this I was like I was right towards the beginning of the rose in the um, Saratoga Springs one. And it's like where all the blenders and shit are. And I was like, oh shit, yeah. And I had my <laughs> earpods in and everyone that was within the vicinity was like, what? And then I just went to, and that's when I started like grooving out loud and it changed the way that I listened to music because I was just like, fuck it. If you don't like the way that I look and I'm nodding my head and stuff and bobbing and shit like that, then whatever, you're the freak. And so I did that. And I still do that now. I do that when I'm at, when I'm drawing. I do that when I'm driving. I do that when I'm shopping. I do that when I just don't give a fuck. Those are not birds. Those are dogs, and um, that you can hear. And that's how I felt about the spins. Like I was like, fuck yeah, and I just loved it. I looked it up, and I was like, holy shit, <laughs> song is so old. Like you dumbass. Like it's not a new release. You know, I thought it was like some release from past when he had died and you know he had recorded it right before he died but no I was I'm late to the party again late to the party with Lil Peep late to the party with Mac Miller but at least I showed up and um yeah it was uh it was cool and then self care came on and when that song switches uh, it's like that's when the shit gets real. And I was like, fuck, yeah. And I found myself listening just to that. And then I kind of was like, okay, I'm gonna go into his, his stuff. And I said, okay, instead of starting from the beginning, I'm gonna start from his last shit and work my way back, which I usually don't do. But I did, so I started with Circles. And it wasn't until later, like I'd been listening to the a few of the songs just because of the um, populated ones. And I was like, I'm just gonna listen to this album. And I listened to it from start to finish. And then so I start, and what I'll do is I'll just listen to an album from start to finish. Like if, like, okay, I'm gonna like this album regardless of the content. And so I listened to it over and over, but I didn't have to do that with this. I was just like, wow. Like when I heard Surf, I was like, whoa. When I heard, when I heard Woods, I was like, whoa. Like each one that I heard, I mean, there's some that I don't care for as much as the rest of them, but like, it's like, wow. And then circles start playing in and I was like, it didn't click. Like when the fuck did it click? I don't remember because I thought about it as he was like in the water circling like a shark. And then I thought, okay, he's drawing circles. Like for me, that's going back to the drawing board like as in a like a basketball game or whatnot you know you come back in that's how I relate it to what he was trying to say it's like drawing circles okay come back in here we are this is us this is them whatever um maybe it maybe it's the same thing like because I keep having these visions and shit like in my head when I'm trying to sleep and whatnot or imaginary conversations and it's like 
He's like, no, that's that was for you. How fucking selfish, but for my recovery, I'm mean, Planet Billy, yeah. And then I started looking at my paintings and pictures, and I'm like, holy shit, drawing circles, like. And I didn't associate, I didn't grab, I didn't grab the shape of a circle for my sobriety, for my higher power's purpose as a symbol, as an easier way to draw it, to explain it, until I found my higher power. And um, that song, Circles, in the album, I mean, it just means so much. I'm gonna pause it so I can see where I'm at. 